Halloween demons, mm -hmm. those type of demons. Looks like one of those. <laughs> that's interesting. You know, when you really see things like that, that's that's how it is. And now you wrote that. Um, do you see yourself writing more? Is that something you're interested in? Uh, not really. It's more solely just my school forcing me to write books. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes there's a lot of good that comes from that. You know, you might they might push you in that direction, and you tap into something that you didn't even know you liked doing. Um, and you know, you're still only in middle school, so it's like you still have time to figure things out. Aside from acting, long-term goals in terms of other career paths, is there something, I know you mentioned a lot of math and science, do you kind of see yourself either bridging that gap or even maybe acting out in sci-fi roles or anything like that? You seem to have that personality. Well, when I was younger, well, I actually still do have that dream of being like an engineer or inventor. Like, I, was, I have these ideas, but I'm not sure like how I'm going to make them, but I figure, like, as I get older, I'm probably going to learn how to make these. Like, my mom, we have, I'm, I'm the oldest of, of two other siblings, of three siblings. Um, and I figured, like, when my little sister, uh, she was always, she would always be crying. So I figured, like, I want to make, like, a hologram that, like, can, like, walk the baby, um, take care of the baby. While my mom just relaxes, because she... Um, mentioned how tired she would mm -hmm. get of the baby. So that's one of my ideas. And like a stroller that can move without somebody pushing it. <laughs> a Wi Fi operated or a oh, battery yes. operated. <laughs> like, a, like a map of where you mm -hmm. want to go. That should be pretty cool. That's a, and that's some great ideas because you're so creative and that's those are things that you have to nurture. Um, what has been the best? part of your journey so far for you um the best part uh i think all the love i've been getting on social media um that was fun that's really fun okay that's great but one of the key things is to not let insta fame yes get to you i know because as good as it is social media could still be a tool for good or for bad and when you see it used for bullying and different things it's it's really traumatic and there's a lot of people especially younger people like in your age group who you know unfortunately that's why i'm like don't get too caught up in it you it's a great tool use it for promotion but don't let it define who you are because you're not defined by a like or a comment yes so that's just a key thing to keep in mind but we'll take a quick break we'll be right back you're watching beyond focus tv stay with us Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel. So, Kaden, a lot of big things are happening for you. It's pretty exciting to actually see yourself, you know, a, a kid in Brooklyn. Your parents are helping you out. You're doing a lot of great things. How do you describe yourself? I know you say you're energetic, you're a little bit silly, but what would be your ideal description of yourself? Like, where do you see yourself five years from now? What would be the key things that you would want to be like, I'm Kaden Hargrove. 16 years old, and I do this, this, and this. Uh, at 16 years old, I would probably see myself in the higher, like, math group. Um, I think it's advanced algebra or advanced math class. Um, I also see myself as one of the top students in science and engineering, and I think I might major in science and engineering. Uh, I'm not sure if there's majors in high school. Um, probably going to be on play basketball mm -hmm. if I do make the team. Um, That's great, though. That's really, really good. You know, and what about doing things in your community? How, how do you? What else do you do to get involved in getting yourself out there? Um, I think I'll I'll still be acting. Oh, I forgot to mention I'll still be on the drama. I'll probably be on the drama like the drama theater um 
you know, maybe be starring in one of the plays. Mm -hmm. um, to help out my community, uh, well, probably going to attend like um, the community meetings that we have in my neighborhood. Um, my mom usually goes, but one of these days I want to go with her. That'd be great, you know, and start getting involved in that because that's important. Now, I know you mentioned you have two other siblings, so do you use them as your, your practice tools? Like, do you rehearse for them, make them listen to you? Give us a little bit of a behind the scenes. No, I think that's actually my silly and energetic side. Um, side. Like, the middle one, um, I always like messing with her, uh, uh, making her get mad. It's hilarious when she gets mad. Mm -hmm. um, face she makes and her little dimples. <laughs> Cause see how much you love your sister, your face is lit up. You're like, oh my god, you got so excited talking about her. And the little one, she's also energetic, very energetic. She runs around all the way around the house. Um, me and her normally mess around with her. Uh, and then she loves jumping. She loves getting on, like getting on my shoulders when we walk down the street. Um, it's really fun playing around with her. So you have the big brother role, so you're the protector. You've got these two younger sisters who look up to you, and they see, for them, I'm sure, they just see Caden, their older brother. And it would be, I'm sure it's so interesting for them to actually watch you on stage and be like, oh my God, this is the same Caden who was running around this morning, but you're always gonna still be their brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, my little sister, Lake, um, when she uh, when she saw me, um, she was like, Kaden, Kaden, there's Kaden when, she's, when I walked up on stage. Exactly, you know, and that must be such a, a good feeling for you. And when you're on stage, what would you say is that best moment for you when you're actually, like if you could pick one thing that is the cherry on top? Uh, here in the class at the end, um, it's really exciting to have people like clap for you. Um, one person actually stood up um, during the play. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. And really, if I'm like in a funny play, having be having that um, role actually be funny. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually in one play for my school. Um, there was actually this one funny scene. The entire audience laughed. Uh, that was, it was hilarious. It was supposed to be funny. Um, so, yeah. It really puts, like, a smile on my face when this happened. So what about writing plays? Do you ever see yourself writing your own production and maybe starring in your own production? Maybe. I'm not sure about that yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a different level, but something to think about. You might actually enjoy it. You know, sometimes we do so much waiting on our waiting for someone to book us when you could just make your own you can probably have your own production and and then you'll be the one casting people and and choosing how you want your vision to come to life so that's pretty good now of course for bookings how do we get in contact with you of course I know your parents are, are very involved they're a huge part of what you do how do they get in contact with you well, just go to at the booking boss dot, dot com. Um, that's my dad's email. He um, and he'll tell you everything. So spell that out. Uh, T no caps. Um, T H E B O O K I N G dot C O M at gmail dot com. Okay, that's great. So they'll be able to send your dad an email get you booked for a few things and, and that's great so 2019 you know it's it's almost here it's crazy to think we're almost in 2019 what do you think you'll have planned give us a little sneak peek of 2019 uh 2019 i'll probably be doing the theater company mm -hmm. and probably you'll probably see me um going around with the Tucson we would chore play. That's awesome. And in terms of different roles, I know you've played serious roles, you've done funny roles. Do you have a, a preference? Uh, not really. 
Um, just give me like a script and I'll act it out. That's great. Now, what advice would you have for other child actors, people coming up, um, people who are struggling to break into the industry and may not even be at the level that you're at? What advice do you have for them? Um, go for your goals um, and memorize your lines. But if you mess up on stage, just keep going with it. Speaking of memorizing your lines, what are some of Caden's tricks to memorizing the lines? Because I know you could learn a play in two days. So, mm, well, do you like sing a song with it? Do you do something to help jog your memory? I started with the little pieces, like paragraphs at a time, and just keep going with that. Okay, great. And rehearse it like a lot. <laughs> Make sure you get those rehearsals in. Well, Kaden, thank you so much. It's been great having you here today. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back again next week. Same time, same place. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you.